Georgia Tea Party, we fulfill that responsibility. If you would like to fulfill that responsibility in your own life, we'd love to have you join us. If you haven't already, I see many of our people here. So many faces I don't know. That brings us, of course, to the Marietta Declaration. The Marietta Declaration is more than a simple resolution. It's more than a simple document. It's our way of saying that if the rest of our culture will not fulfill that responsibility, if they will not live up to being a citizen, we will. If no one else does, we will. I'd like to introduce uh, my friend and colleague, uh, Mr. Jim Jess, the author of the Marietta Declaration, to tell you a little bit more about it. Before I do that, though, uh, I want to take a step back and uh, look at the, some of the other documents that, uh, that we hold great reverence for. For that, I'd like to introduce my friend, uh, Mr. Field Searcy. Tell us a little bit more about it. Field, come on up. Thank you. I'd like to read a few excerpts from our nation's founding documents. The Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. The Declaration of Independence declared the principles of liberty and self-government. It is our charter of liberty. The Constitution secured these principles by establishing a framework for the structure and powers of both the federal government we need both. Some 200 years after their writing, they still provide inspiration and direction to us. They should be understood and implemented by our public officials today. The Constitution is what all public officials swear to uphold and defend. First, from the Declaration of Independence, the second paragraph, quote, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. But among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. And a few phrases down from this, when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Thank <laughs> you.